It's not good enough, Lydia. What I'm saying to you is that if you can, it will be good to moderate the more extreme parts of your inclinations, shall I say, because, you know, it's fair to say that as a responsible uh, adult in your life, uh, you know, a role model is as best I can be. I've always considered that I've taken an even-handed approach to your, well, not not upbringing exactly. I'll, you know, try to be there and, you know, underpin Gerald's better efforts. But the things that you, you know, get up to, your nocturnal expeditions with your swag bag and your... Uh, you know, there are consequences, Lydia. That's all I'm saying. You know, I, I'm just... All I'm saying is, you know, it's it's possible if you, you know, if you don't curb your urges, <clears throat> then you're going to end up veering away from the straight, narrow path that I would prefer that you maintained and end up in trouble, and I don't want that, and certainly Gerald doesn't, and the way his ulcer is at the moment, he can't afford, he can't afford to take any chances with his health, and he, um, he doesn't, doesn't hold you responsible for his, for his ulcer, or, which is uh, often a consequence of an eating disorder, and certainly not in his case, I'm surprised you haven't, why do you never, why do you never steal his Vulcanox? I'm surprised you don't need it the way you, the way you, <laughs> <laughs> Alice, you're my hero. I mean, <laughs> yeah. And there's lords left as well, you know. <laughs> Who knows the Heimlich maneuver? <laughs>